Welcome everyone to a new perspective on living sustainably and minimally, a lifestyle that's gaining momentum worldwide. Today, we're going to delve into the captivating world of homesteading and tiny house living, two lifestyles that are not just trends but a conscious shift towards a simpler, more fulfilling life. In an era where consumerism and complexity often overshadow the simple joys of life, many are finding solace in a return to basics. Homesteading and tiny house living are two such avenues that are paving the way for a sustainable, self-sufficient future. Yet, embarking on these journeys doesn't just require a change in mindset, it also requires a place to start, a piece of land to call your own. And in today's economic landscape, finding affordable land is a challenge that many prospective homesteaders and tiny house enthusiasts face. So, where do you find affordable land that's suitable for these lifestyles? What factors do you need to consider when buying this land? How can you navigate the complexities of local laws and regulations? And most importantly, how do you turn a piece of land into a thriving homestead or a cozy tiny house? These are some of the questions we'll be exploring today as we journey through the process of finding and buying affordable land for homesteading and tiny houses. We'll be taking a look at some of the cheapest places in the United States as well as international options for those with a bit of wanderlust. Whether you're a seasoned homesteader, a tiny house enthusiast, or someone who's just beginning to explore these lifestyles, we hope this journey will provide you with valuable insights, practical tips, and the inspiration to take that first step towards sustainable living. So buckle up and get ready for an enlightening journey into the world of affordable land for homesteading and tiny houses. Let's dive into why more and more people are turning to this unique way of life. You might wonder, why are people drawn to homesteading and tiny houses? Well, it's a lifestyle choice that's gaining traction, and for good reason. Imagine a life where you have control over your environment, where you can grow your own food, generate your own energy, and build your own home. That's homesteading, in a nutshell. It's about sustainability, self-reliance, and a connection to nature. It's about living a simpler, more meaningful life, away from the hustle and bustle of the modern world. Now let's talk about tiny houses. These are not just smaller versions of regular houses. They represent a whole new way of living. They're a rejection of the idea that bigger is better, that success is measured by the size of your home. Tiny houses are about minimalism, about living with less, and finding happiness in simplicity. They're about reducing your environmental footprint and freeing yourself from the burden of a large mortgage. But it's not just about the lifestyle. There's also a financial aspect, Homesteading and tiny house living can be much cheaper than traditional ways of living. With less space to heat or cool, and less stuff to buy and maintain, your living costs can be significantly reduced. And if you're growing your own food and generating your own energy, you can be largely self-sufficient, further reducing your expenses. So you see, the appeal of homesteading and tiny houses is multifaceted. It's about lifestyle and values, but it's also about financial freedom, it's about choosing a different path, one that is more in tune with nature and less dependent on the consumerist society. But of course, choosing this path is not without its challenges. One of the first steps is finding the right piece of land, one that fits your needs and your budget. The allure is clear, but what should one consider when looking for land for their homestead or tiny house? Well, that's a topic for our next scene. Stay tuned. Scene script. Choosing land isn't just about price. There's much more to it. You see, the success of your homesteading or tiny house venture greatly depends on the piece of land you choose. So, let's dive into the key factors to consider when selecting land for your dream project. First up is location. Simply put, where do you want to live? Are you a mountain person or do you prefer the plains? Do you want to be near the coast or nestled deep within the woods? Consider the climate and the kind of crops you can grow. Also, think about how close or far you want to be from the nearest town or city. Next, let's talk about zoning laws. These are regulations set by local governments dictating how a piece of land can be used. Some areas might not allow for tiny houses or certain types of homesteading activities. So you must check the zoning laws of the area where you're planning to buy land. Another important factor is access to amenities. If you're planning to live off grid, you'll need to consider how you'll get your water and power. Is there a water source on the property? Can you install solar panels or a wind turbine? If you're not going fully off-grid, consider the proximity to public utilities. Don't forget about the land's topography and soil type. 
If you're planning to grow your own food, you'll need fertile soil. Also, consider if the land is flat or hilly, as this can impact your building and farming plans. Finally, consider the cost. While we all want a good deal, remember that buying land is an investment. So, think long term. What might seem expensive now could save you money in the future. For instance, a piece of land with a well and septic system already in place might cost more up front, but it could save you thousands in installation costs. So there you have it. Location, zoning laws, access to amenities, topography, soil type, and cost. These are the key factors to keep in mind when selecting land for your homesteading or tiny house project. With these factors in mind, let's explore some affordable land options. The United States has a wealth of options for those seeking affordable land. Indeed, the vast expanse of the country provides a myriad of opportunities for homesteading and tiny house living. Let's take a closer look at some regions that are particularly known for their affordable land options. Starting in the Midwest, states like Kansas, Nebraska, and South Dakota offer wide open spaces at reasonable prices. These states are characterized by their rural charm, fertile soil, and a slower pace of life, perfect for those seeking to live off the land. Moving south, you'll find states like Arkansas and Mississippi. These areas offer a warm climate and rich, verdant landscapes. The cost of land here is quite affordable, and the state's lenient zoning laws make it easier for homesteaders and tiny house enthusiasts to set up their dream homes. Then there's the Southwest, with states like New Mexico and Arizona. These areas offer a different kind of allure with their arid landscapes and expansive vistas. Land prices can vary here, but there are definitely pockets where land can be purchased at a bargain. Let's not forget about Alaska, the last frontier. While it's not for everyone due to its remote location and harsh climate, Alaska offers large plots of land at incredibly low prices. For the adventurous homesteader, Alaska presents a unique opportunity. Each of these regions has its own unique features and benefits offering something for everyone. Whether you're drawn to the fertile plains of the Midwest, the verdant landscapes of the South, the sun-soaked vistas of the Southwest, or the rugged wilderness of Alaska, there's a place for you in the United States. But affordability isn't the only factor to consider. It's also important to take into account the local climate, access to amenities, and local regulations. These factors can greatly impact your homesteading or tiny house living experience. While the U.S. offers great options, there are also attractive international opportunities. So if you're open to exploring beyond the borders, stay tuned as we delve into affordable land options outside the United States in our next segment. Beyond the U.S., there are countries offering enticing opportunities for homesteaders and tiny house enthusiasts. Let's take a virtual journey around the globe and explore some affordable land options that might just be the perfect spot for your homesteading or tiny house project. South America, for instance, is a continent teeming with potential. Countries like Ecuador and Paraguay are known for their affordable land prices, and they offer a variety of climates and landscapes, from lush jungles to sun-drenched beaches. If you're craving a more European vibe, you might consider Portugal or Bulgaria. Both countries are known for their low cost of living and rich cultural heritages. Portugal in particular is attracting a growing community of permaculture enthusiasts, while Bulgaria offers fertile soils for agriculture and a favorable climate for year-round homesteading. How about a tropical paradise? The Philippines, a country made up of over 7,000 islands, is known for its affordable land prices and warm, welcoming community. Imagine your tiny house nestled in a vibrant rainforest or perched on the edge of a pristine beach. Sounds tempting, doesn't it? But please, don't pack your bags just yet. It's important to remember that each country has its own set of rules and regulations when it comes to land ownership. Some countries may restrict foreign ownership of land, while others may have specific zoning laws that could impact your homesteading or tiny house plans. Additionally, other factors such as political stability, access to health care, and language barriers should be considered. Research is key. Reach out to local real estate agents, network with other homesteaders or tiny house owners in the area, and ensure you fully understand what you're signing up for before making a commitment. Lastly, consider the environmental impact of your decision. Strive to create a sustainable and eco-friendly homestead that respects and enhances the local environment. Regardless of where you choose, it's crucial to understand local regulations and zoning laws. So whether you're dreaming of a tiny house in the Bulgarian countryside or a homestead in the Ecuadorian jungle, 
do your homework, and soon enough, you'll find the perfect spot to call home. Navigating local laws can be challenging, but it's an essential part of the process. So let's dive into this crucial step in your homesteading journey. Local regulations and zoning laws are the backbone to any land purchase. They dictate what you can and cannot do with your property. For instance, some areas may not permit certain types of structures or may have strict building codes. This is particularly important for those interested in tiny houses, as not all localities have embraced this minimalist living trend just yet. Zoning laws can also impact agricultural activities. Some areas may limit the number of livestock you can keep or restrict certain types of crops. If you're dreaming of a self-sufficient homestead, these restrictions could throw a wrench in your plans. Now you may be wondering, how do I find this information? Excellent question. Local governing bodies typically oversee zoning laws, so your first stop should be your town or county's planning or zoning department. They can provide a wealth of information and help you understand the specific regulations for your property. Another useful resource is a land use attorney. They specialize in interpreting and navigating zoning laws and can be particularly helpful if you run into any legal roadblocks. Yes, it's an added expense, but consider it an investment in your dream. Remember, laws and regulations can change. So even if you've found the perfect piece of property, keep an eye on any potential shifts in local laws that could affect your homesteading plans. In essence, understanding local laws is not just about compliance, but also about ensuring your dream homestead or tiny house lifestyle is feasible on your chosen property. It's about doing your homework, asking the right questions, and seeking professional advice when needed. With a good grasp of the laws, let's move on to some useful tips for finding affordable land. After all, the dream of homesteading or living in a tiny house starts with finding that perfect plot of land, and we're here to help you do just that. Finding affordable land can seem daunting, but with the right approach, it becomes easier. To start, online resources like LandWatch.com and other real estate websites are great places to begin your search for affordable land. These platforms allow you to filter searches based on price, location, size, and more, making it easier to find what you're looking for. Auctions, especially those for tax-delinquent properties, can also be a goldmine for finding affordable land. Just make sure you do your due diligence before placing a bid. Check out the property, understand the auction process, and know your maximum bid. Local networking can't be underestimated either. Engage with local communities, real estate agents, and even farmers. They might have leads on available land that hasn't been publicly listed yet. Lastly, consider hiring a land broker. They can help navigate the complexities of land transactions, ensuring you get the best deal possible. Knowing where to look and what to look for is half the battle. The other half is taking the plunge. Many people have successfully embarked on this journey, and their stories serve as inspiration. Take, for example, the Johnson family. They found a piece of land in the heartland of America at a price that was just right, and today, they're living a self-sufficient life, growing their own food and raising livestock. Or consider the story of Sarah, a single woman who purchased a small plot in the rolling hills of Portugal. She's now living in a tiny house, surrounded by vineyards, and says she's never been happier. Then there's the Thompsons, a retired couple who bought affordable land in the Appalachian Mountains. They've built a homestead that's not just a home, but a sanctuary for local wildlife. These stories are just a few examples of the many people who have turned their dreams of homesteading and tiny house living into reality. While these stories inspire, it's important to be aware of the challenges that may come your way. Embarking on this journey is not without its challenges. The path towards homesteading and tiny house living can be fraught with hurdles. One of the significant challenges that you may face is infrastructure development. Remember, you're not just buying land, you're creating a home. This potentially involves setting up utilities, building structures, and establishing access routes. It's not always an easy task, especially in more remote areas. Another aspect to consider is the shift to a rural lifestyle. This change can be a stark contrast from city living, with slower paces, fewer amenities, and a greater reliance on self-sufficiency. There's also the social aspect. You might be far from neighbors or in a community with different norms and customs. But remember, every challenge is a stepping stone towards achieving your dream. These obstacles are part of the journey, and overcoming them is part of the adventure. Despite these challenges, the rewards can be immense. E. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's quickly recap. 
We started by exploring the growing interest in homesteading and tiny house living, discussing the appeal of sustainability, self-sufficiency and minimalism. We then delved into the key factors one should consider when buying land for these lifestyles, including location, zoning laws, and access to amenities. We highlighted specific regions in the United States known for affordable land suitable for these lifestyles, and took a detour to explore international options as well. We emphasize the importance of understanding local regulations and zoning laws, and offered advice on how to find and secure affordable land. We also shared real-life success stories and discussed potential challenges reminding you that while the journey may be tough, the rewards are immense. Remember your dream of homesteading or owning a tiny house is within reach. It all starts with finding that perfect piece of land that won't break the bank. For those eager to learn more, there are plenty of resources available. Websites like Landwatch and Zillow can be great starting points for finding affordable land. For understanding zoning laws, refer to local government websites or consult with a real estate attorney. Online forums and communities such as Homesteading Today and the Tiny House Community can offer valuable insights and personal experiences. Books like The Backyard Homestead and Tiny House Living can provide comprehensive guides. With these resources, you're well equipped to start your journey. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this guide to finding affordable land for homesteading and tiny houses informative and inspiring. If you're as passionate about this lifestyle as we are, don't forget to like and share this video. It's your support that allows us to continue providing content like this. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest videos. Until next time, happy homesteading and tiny house hunting.